Hey, what's up everybody? Cletus T. Judd here, live from Russell, Kentucky, and this is Remodel Cities. You know, moving here, it's such a tight-knit community, you don't ever know how you're going to fit in. Being in a small town and um, a, a tough town economically at times, it gives me great pleasure to bring joy to people's lives. Remodel Citizen is 35% home remodel and 65% life remodel. The addiction problem here is higher than anywhere in the United States. And you know, these are the forgotten people. I can speak intelligently on it because I can look them in the eye because I am one of them. I'm a recovering addict 13 years now and uh, everybody deserves a second chance. Had somebody not gave me a chance, I would have never went on to sell two million records. You're looking at somebody that just got lucky. Oh, well, she got up this morning at 6 a.m. She was grumpy as can be. Moved to Nashville, was homeless dang near for about three years. I called my mom to come and get me, and while I was on the phone with her, I heard a song playing on the radio, this Indian uh, Outlaw by Tim McGraw. And uh, I did a parody called Indian In-Laws, wrote it, borrowed $250, and four weeks later it was on 190 radio stations, and uh, the rest is history. Wives do it all the time. I dropped it like it's hot. The first seven years of my daughter's life, I, I drove here once a month to spend time with her from Florida. Every time I would leave, the pain was unbearable. Um, you know, when she, when she was little, We would always uh, do this thing, you know, because I knew that it wasn't always going to be that way. So uh, I walked away from a $2 million deal in Florida, gave it all up to come home, you know, and the uh, best thing i ever done, you know, it was the most gratifying, satisfying thing to sit right here in this chair and see that yellow bus pull up right out there. It's, uh, I do it every day. That's her! Are you okay? <laughs> Hi. Tell me your favorite thing about the remodels that your dad does. Well, there's some pretty hardwood floors and then he just takes like Kentucky blue or lime green and paints them and then he's like, how do they look? And I'm like, oh, they look great. <clears throat> do what? Sorry, Dad. Bye -bye. <laughs> Something that I love about what Cletus does um, is the passion that he puts into everything and the creativity that he puts into it. My fiance Amanda, yes, she's getting her uh, real estate license right now. What she's trying to do is capitalize on my success. She's going to try to get her real estate license. She thinks I'm this big time red decorator. She's going to jump and ride my coattails and I'll put her in the wind. <laughs> The last two years, I think I've done eight, eight remodels right here within two or three miles of, uh, of where we're sitting. When you're doing these DIY projects or whatever, I mean, I didn't want to go out and buy some handle for my fake barn doors and the lady that lived there had left a lot of her stuff and there was two coffee pots sitting up in the shelf and I thought, oh, that's perfect. They got handles on them and you'll have $10 in it versus going and spending 500 because I'm going to tell you, people around here that I work for, they ain't got that kind of money. It's just, I see things differently than, you know, most people. These houses are my canvas, and I guess I'm the painter. Ta -da! The favorite part of the renovation process is no doubt, uh, it's not the closing, the check, it's, uh, it's putting the right family with the right home. If I take one person, just one, that never had a chance, if I can help that guy, and I can be a mentor to that guy or girl, that's good enough for me right there. Now your mess is mine. What he's doing is a great thing. Cletus is just good people. 